Hey, Ren, really, really excited to have you share your story with the rest of the students. Uh, and as always, I'll let you start by sharing your background. Troy, first off, thank you so much for having me here. Uh, this has been a long time in the making, only four and a half weeks. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm so happy to be here. Uh, just a little bit of backstory. Uh, briefly, I started uh, course careers about four and a half weeks ago, uh, maybe a little less than that. The exact date was um, October 25th uh, when I started course careers. Um, and I came from an entirely customer service background. Um, and in fact, right before I started course careers, I was walking dogs um, in the DC area. I live in the DC area. So yeah, I actually came across course careers through Cyrus Harbin. Uh, he was doing an interview with Anthony O'Neill. And I love Anthony. I, I follow his advice when it comes to the financial aspect of, of things. So I said, well, hey, if he's talking about, you know, this this tech company, you know, or this tech boot camp called Course Careers, I, I really should check it out. And so I did that. And uh, and here I am. Yeah, look at that. So you, before Course Careers, you were literally walking dogs. Uh, yeah. And now four weeks later, you're working for one of the, the largest tech companies with a, a really good, uh, good salary and technology sales. Yes, seriously, legit. And I think so many people are just like, wait a minute, you started when? You, you've been doing this for how long? And honestly, I, I had always wanted to break into the tech industry, mm -hmm. uh, but I never knew that, you know, I always thought you had to be a, a coder or a data analyst. And my brain just simply, it does not work that way. So, um, so you know, once I found out about tech sales, I was like, wow, this could really potentially change a lot of things uh, for me because I have a lot of outside passions and things that, you know, I'm really interested in. Um, but I was finding within the customer service field, I had the money to just kind of pay for my bills and just kind of like everyday life. Um, but I wasn't having the money to pay for bills and the dream. And so I said, you know what, something's got to give. I, I've got to do something differently and I, I've got to I've got to go down a different path in order to make something happen. Sure. And do you have a, a four year degree, by the way? I do not. I do not. I went to college. I <laughs> I was put on academic probation. I was living in Florida and I was at the beach too much, Troy, if I'm going to be honest with you. I was at the beach more than I was in class. So there's that. Um, but I did end up later on getting my associate's degree um, and just a just the associates in arts. So nothing technical, no big, no big degree at all. And that was back in 2014. I can honestly say I haven't really used it truthfully. Yeah. Wow. So no bachelor's degree. And have you ever worked in the technology field before? Never. Never. never I've never worked in a tech field before. My brother-in-law, um, he's been in the tech industry since I was a little girl. Um, mm -hmm. And he would always tell me growing up, hey, you, I'm 34 now. I just turned 34 in September. Uh, but he would always tell me when I was you know, 10, 12, 13 years old, he's like, hey, you should really think about getting into the tech industry. Um, you know, but then, you know, just kind of like I said a little bit earlier, I always thought that meant being like a software engineer or something like that. And I tried to dabble in that for just a few weeks and it just wasn't, it wasn't something that, that pulled at me. So um, yeah, I have no technical background at all. In fact, some days I struggle with working my iPhone. So, you know, I'm not ashamed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, so what I'm curious, so after you, you watch that, that interview, you go to course careers, did you go through the, the introduction course? Yes, I did. That's exactly how I started out. Um, it was actually the day before I started, I believe, um, that I started the introduction course. Um, yeah. and I went through that and it just kind of gave me a sense of like, okay, this is going to be me just kind of like talking to people and doing this and doing that. And it was it was, I always say this, Troy, on, on LinkedIn, but 
I'm telling you now, and I'm telling the viewers now, anyone who hasn't signed up for Course Careers, Troy explains everything so easily that if you're a newbie, if you are, even if you've been in tech sales or you've dabbled in any kind of, of sales before, you can pick up wherever you are. Um, Troy has a way of meeting you where you are, right? And so that that's what it was for me. It was like, I felt like you met me exactly where I was in the introductory course. And that sold me. I was like, you know what? It's going to be me talking to people. I'm pretty good with that. You know, why, why not give this a try? And this allows me to break into tech. And mm -hmm. I just knew, you know, I went down the rabbit hole too of just like, uh, other videos that Cyrus had or uh, just, you know, going on YouTube and looking up tech sales. And truthfully, there wasn't a whole lot. There wasn't, I mean, this is just like a few weeks ago. There wasn't a whole lot. I watched some of the same guys, um, Patrick, Trent, um, you know, yet yeah, Black Heights. Um, so I watched some of the same guys like every single day just to get a better, an even better understanding um, while I was going through the course as well. Great. Uh, and let's learn a little bit more about your course experience. So while you're going through the, the course, did you know anything about sales or technology sales before enrolling or was this your first introduction to it? Yeah, it was kind of my first in introduction. I had dabbled in like wholesaling real estate a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as just kind of th this kind of sales, this was my first time. Um, the, the last time I did any kind of like retail sales was when I was like a teenager, when I first started working, you know? Um, so yeah, this was, this was a first for me. Um, but I was totally open to it because, you know, when you're, when you're desperate for change, you're going to make something happen. Um, and also, I believe that when you're desperate for change, opportunities are going to present themselves to see if you're going to take those opportunities up. And so the opportunity presented itself to, you know, go down the road of, you know, the, the tech boot camp with course careers. And, and I just I took it on. Awesome. Yeah, I'd love to hear that. Uh, and so you're going through the, the course material. Did you find any of the, the course material very difficult or challenging? Honestly, no. And, and that's honestly speaking, I did not because everything was so forward. Um, and then even if I, even if I did have any questions, like if, if I were to have any questions, I saw everyone else, um, you know, on LinkedIn. And so it, it's such a community, you know, with mm -hmm. uh, course careers. So you can ask anyone, any kind of question, even yourself, you know, um, I just kind of started reaching out to Troy and just asking him things, not even necessarily pertaining to the course specifically, um, but he was just like, he was just always so open. Um, so yeah, I didn't really find anything necessarily uh, super challenging, um, but there were things that, you know, I would go like after I would, uh, you know, view it on the course, I would go and I would just kind of get more, go deeper basically with it, with a Google search or something like that. Um, and yeah, that's, that was pretty much my experience. Yeah. I love to hear that. Uh, and what do you think was the most valuable part of the course for you? Was it the material or the community uh, or how, how important was the community to you? The community is probably honestly, Troy, <laughs> it's funny because this is literally just, I, I can't stress to you guys enough, get your LinkedIn's up and get connected with other people that are within course careers, whether they've finished, whether they found jobs already, what at, whatever, just get connected with people. Because the community, I've never been on a social media platform where everyone's just rooting for you. And you're just rooting for them, you know, uh, and you don't even know these people, <laughs> you know, it's just like, oh, you're in course careers. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm rooting for you. You're looking for a job. Oh, me too. Um, so the community that's come out of this, I have. Um, and another thing I'll say is when you're connecting with people on LinkedIn, 
take it from the connections, like pressing the button to actually getting the phone numbers and really being connected with these people. Um, that's the most important. I now have just four weeks ago, I didn't have half the numbers that I have in my phone that I do now, you know, of just different mentors, just different, you know, people that were in the, you know, my peers that were in the course, you know, along with me. Um, and everyone is just helping in some kind of way. Um, and you, you truly do not know who people know. Um, you know, and that's the most fascinating part. I've had people, you know, that I've met that took course careers, but, you know, they come from like such a high level within their previous companies, you know, or the company that they're in now or, you know, what have you. And so you don't know what types of opportunities that's going to open up for you. Um, and, and people never believe me when I say this, but I'm an introvert. I prefer to be alone. I prefer to, like, if I didn't have to talk to people, I wouldn't. <laughs> um, and that's just the truth. But when you open yourself up to building the community within LinkedIn, uh, you open yourself up to so many possibilities and so many new opportunities. It's, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And what was your experience like interviewing with companies and landing uh, a position? Yeah, so the experience was pretty interesting. Uh, you go through a few rounds of interviews, right? Um, so it's definitely not like anything that I had ever gone through. Uh, mm -hmm. Typically, I've had jobs where, you know, hey, you know, I like you. I like the way you talk. I like, you know, yeah, let's go. You can start tomorrow. And this wasn't like that. It was really, it was a journey. Um, and so you have to be patient with yourself and, and just kind of pace yourself so you don't get overwhelmed. Um, but the, the process was, um, I started with a recruiter over the phone, uh, pretty much for, for two of the companies, including uh, Zoom Info, I don't mind putting that out there, um, including Zoom Info, um, that was on the phone with the recruiter first, then that went to a meeting with two other managers through a Zoom call. Um, and then once I got through that round, I met with a couple more managers, uh, managers a few days later through a Zoom, in, uh, Zoom call as well. Um, and then one of the other companies I had interviewed for was more of a paid internship that turned into a salary position. Um, and let's see that I was speaking, that was a small startup. Um, so about 10 to 12 uh, people that they had, um, uh, employees. And that was actually here in the Washington DC area. Uh, so the other company that I interviewed for was on site, um, where I would have to go to the office every day. Um, and then zoom info, uh, which is the company that I ended up getting the position with that is a right now I'm remote up until January. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's, January 17th, I start going into the office one day a week. Gotcha. Wow. So did you only interview with two companies? Uh, I interviewed with three. I interviewed with a startup. Um, I interviewed with kind of like a, a mid kind of level uh, company. And then I interviewed with Zoom Info. I see. And yeah. why did you choose to, to go with Zoom Info? So there's quite a few reasons. Um, so Zoom Info, for one, the diversity and inclusion was really big for me. Um, I really wanted to be in a place where, you know, I I felt like I was welcomed and, um, and they just had, they checked all those boxes. Um, and then another, you know, thing, just kind of going back to what I said earlier, it's one of those companies that if you get into it, it's just such a great resume booster. Um, you know, no matter where you go, it's like having Google on your resume, you know, so uh, no matter where you go um, down the line, it's just one of those places where people will look at that and they will say, wow, that's awesome. If you did great things there, then I know you can do wonderful things here. Um, and then also, I love the fact that it was actually going to end up being a hybrid position somewhat. Uh, because mm -hmm. I feel better when I'm learning in person. 
Um, and so what I actually just found out with Zoom Info uh, today actually is even though we're going into the office one day a week starting in January, I actually have the option right now to go into the office, learn from people if I want. I can go into the office as much as I want to get more of a hands-on person-to-person kind of experience instead of just being online. So, so yeah, I'll, I'll actually, um, I just put in a request to do that and I'll be doing that next week. Wow. That's incredible. And I mean, the fact that in under four weeks, you have accepted an offer and have started with one of the largest tech companies, Zoom Info, uh, yeah. is just absolutely amazing. And can you yeah. share, us, share with us a little bit more in detail about what the position entails, maybe some high levels on how much you can expect to make in your first year? Uh, yeah. Is it a sales development position? Do you get benefits? Yes. Yeah. So I get benefits. Um, I have unlimited PTO. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm starting around uh, the 80K mark right now, um, but it's uncapped. I have potential for way more. Um, and, the, and the growth potential at Zoom Info, Info is crazy. Um, so, yeah, I basically, I, it's just, it's insane. I, I don't even know what to say. Coming from a customer service background where, I was, you know, and dog walking where I was making 35, maybe 40. Um, yeah. I doubled my income uh, literally within four, four weeks time, basically. Uh, so that's pretty impressive. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm sorry, repeat the question for me just so I can make sure I got it. Yeah, you answered it. So I was just asking about some some high levels on how much you could expect to make in your benefits. And the fact that you doubled yeah. your income is, yeah. is absolutely incredible. <laughs> yeah. And, as far as uh, where you think this position to take will take you, where do you see yourself going in the, the next couple of years or five years from now? Yeah, so I was actually, uh, I set aside some time to speak with my manager um, because I know the ladder of progression is SDR, AE, you know, so on and so forth. Um, but honestly, Troy, I would actually like to kind of cross train uh, if, you know, if they'll allow me uh, to becoming a sales engineer. Um, so that's actually where I kind of see myself going, um, even though that's more of the technical technical side of things. Um, I'm very open. To it. I'm very, very open to it. Very excited about it. Um, and then, you know, who knows? I, I also my goal within the next six months, um, I would also like to become a lead. Um, that would be pretty awesome to become a lead uh, SDR and just help other people, you know, help other people that are in the position that I am now um, that are just coming into Zoom Info, maybe, you know, have absolutely no tech sales experience, no sales experience. Um, yeah. You know, I think that just kind of putting people's minds at ease, I think, is really important when they're coming into such a such a role. And I, I have no I, no doubt in my mind that I'd be able to do that uh, for someone if I were a team lead. Mm -hmm. And what kind of advice would you give to someone who's watching this video but hasn't yet enrolled in the, the course yet, but it's is on the fence? Get in the course. Get in the course. I This has changed my life. And I literally went from talking to the universe, like, okay, what am I supposed to do? What's next, you know, to literally watching the Anthony O'Neill and Cyrus Harbin interview just a couple of days later. And then, you know, starting with course careers right after that. And I don't even think we mentioned, um, and this doesn't happen to everyone. So I say this, please understand it does not. But I started course careers on the 25th. And two weeks later, I had the job with Zoom Info. And honestly, Troy, I started this because I wanted a completely, I just wanted a, a shift. I wanted a change. I wanted, you know, I knew that I wasn't going back to college to get a four-year degree. That wasn't something that I was going to do. And at 34 years old, I was like, you know, okay, I know I'm meant for so much more. I know that you know, I'm meant to be a, a motivational speaker. I'm meant to get my podcast up and going, but how, how am I going to do that with what money, you know? And then this, 
this came in. And so I can't stress the importance enough of just getting started. You know, I get so many people that ask me so many questions and questions are great. Questions are awesome. But at what point do you say, okay, you know what, enough of the analysis paralysis. At what point do you say, okay, it's time for me to get started. Um, and, and I honestly believe like if you don't get started soon, you don't want to find yourself in the same position you are now next year, you know, or the year after that start now, this is scary. Even as I go through the training, they're throwing so much at us and there are so many things that I don't know. And I know once we get on the phones in like the next two weeks, I'm probably going to fall flat on my face, but you know what? I'm in a new place. I'm in a new position where I have so much growth potential and can literally be at the six figure mark within like the next six months to a year. It's like, it's a no brainer for me. So if you haven't started, even just the the introductory course, start the introductory course uh, because that will let you know so much. Go down the rabbit hole like I did. I, you know, went on YouTube, like I said, and I just, I researched what is tech sales. And, you know, I found people that had been doing it a long time. I found people that had been doing it for just a few months and were sharing their stories. But I watched and I learned and here we are. Awesome. Well, thanks again for sharing your story, Ren. And I know a ton of students are going to get a lot of value from it. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, really, really glad to, to have you on here. Thank you so much, Troy. I really appreciate it. If anyone, anybody at all, if you want to reach out to me, I am always on LinkedIn, uh, very, very accessible. Um, and I tell people all the time, like it, this, this life is really what you make it. Um, no one's in control of your life but you. Um, and you have full control to change your life. So reach out to me on LinkedIn. I'm pretty much on there from sunup to sundown.